Hello everyone, welcome to Todd's Aquatics. I thought I would do a short little video tour of the fish room before it gets moved. I will be moving apartments and thus be moving about nine different tanks. I'll be adding a couple additional tanks, moving some stuff around, so I thought let's look at it as it is now and I'll give you an idea of, of what I've got here. Uh, the fish you see swimming right there are my peacock gungeons. These are actually babies that I had in the middle of summer 2022. And they are almost full-size adults now. I've also got some plecos, which I have in, or anisistris, I guess I should say, in almost all of my tanks. And there's also a set, uh, two females, one male, Empire Gungeons. They are probably not going to come out so that you can see them, although I did just see one darting across the back. They are full grown, but they like to hide. Um, I've also got a group of, I believe it is six, six or eight, I can't remember exactly, stir by Corys in here. And this particular tank... I'm considering getting rid of the Gungeons and turning it into a Corridorus tank. I haven't made up my mind yet. The initial move, it'll be pretty much the same when I move it down initially. Um, but it may be getting a change in the future. Below that, we have my little grow-out tank for my... Paleatus Longfin Corridorus. It's a salt and pepper Corridorus. Um, they're not sure exactly how many I've got in there. Probably close to 100. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. I'm not using an iPhone or anything like that. I'm just using my regular phone. So I'm not sure what the quality is going to look like on this. But as you can see, there's a bunch of Paleatus uh, juveniles growing up in there. I will be sending these to um, Carter here before too long. So if you're interested, just check with him at his store and he should be able to hook you up with some of these. I've also got some Adelphi or Adelphus um, corridors in here that I'm growing out to eventually breed. Um, and this tank actually will probably be gone downstairs when I move. Um, to the new apartment. Um, I will probably be turning this into a 20 long or moving these into a 40 breeder. I haven't completely made my mind up yet. Uh, but for now it serves its purpose and everyone's happy and healthy. Moving on over, this 40 breeder is currently my show tank. This tank will get completely torn down. Um, I've got a 75 downstairs that I'm currently using for grow outs of some anisistris, which I'm moving away from other than my uh, long fin calico anisistris, which I'll continue to breed. Um, but that 75 is actually going to become the show tank, so I'll be moving most of the plants in here and pretty much all the fish into my 75. And you see I've got some calico angelfish in there there's a few different types of tetras in there and there's i don't know five or six, six different types of quarries in there um, including some of uh, the black venezuelans that i will be taking out and putting in their own separate tank to try to breed um, assuming i actually have males and females i'm not real sure if i do or don't on that right now the next tank down is my shelly tank and this tank is going to get a kind of an overhaul, but it's basically going to look the same. It just needs a good clean out. Um, there are babies in here. These are the Lamperologus Aciliatus Golden, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they're little devils. Um, they nip and they pick at other fish. I do have... Um, to Sympatochromus leptosoma in here but they are always in the back corner hiding because of the Shelleys who think they need to rule everything so I'm going to be getting rid of those I will probably just be rehoming them if anyone's interested um, you can just hit me up and I can always just drop them off at 
exotic pets uh, or we can meet up somewhere in Wichita. I live in Newton, so um, I don't get into Wichita real often, but I do occasionally. Let's see if we can zoom in and see a couple of the babies. There's a couple of them there. There's three of them, actually. Kind of hard to see. I realize the quality is not the best, but you can see there's three of them there. And if I'm going to continue to grow those out, I'm going to have to start moving them into a breeder box, which I do have. Probably not going to see any in here, but there are about five or six in this breeder box here. Um, and that seems to be the way to go on these is just to pull the shell when you notice they've had babies and then just grow them up in a breeder box. They are slow growing. The ones I've had in here, I'm pretty sure I've had in here for about a month and a half and they're still pretty small, but they are growing. And down here, this girl here is next to a shell where she's got babies, but you're probably not gonna see them. They're pretty small. And this girl over here protects her shell, but has never had any babies. So I'm not sure if she's infertile or what the deal is there, but uh, she's never actually produced any. But anyway, a neat species. Um, a little finicky to get started, but once they settle in, um, there's not much you need to do for them. They eat pretty much anything and are happy as long as there's not other fish around. Moving on over, I've got my 20 long rack that I keep my most of my core doors in right now. This top one a little messy it needs to be cleaned out I'm gonna go with a little bit of a different decor theme when I move downstairs but this top tank has two different types of corridors in it um, I'm not sure on either one exactly if I've got the right species or not they were sold as Nana and then they were sold as Aeneas orange or Aeneas golden but I'm not sure if that's actually what they are or not. Um, I haven't really been able to match them up exactly. Um, you guys that do quarries realize that um, there are a ton of different varieties and they get mixed up pretty easily. Um, I have not bred either one of these. I've tried the Nana, have not had any luck on it yet, but I'm hoping the new setup downstairs, I'll have some luck getting some breeding activity out of those. Moving on down, I've got my 20 long that has my uh, whip tails and my orange or I think there's orange whip tails. I'm not exactly sure on the name of them, um, but you can see they're on the leaves there. There's about five or six of them in there. Um, these have grown really, really well and do really well in this tank. It won't be changing a whole lot. There's just a regular uh, Farawala. Um, cat there it's still pretty small but it's growing um, I also have I think three or four different types of quarries in here I've got gold lasers swimming around right there I've got um, some white albinos <clears throat> and some yellow cats and some millenni if I'm pronouncing that correct in this tank I'm probably not going to see them all but they are in there um, but they'd like to hide at the back and then I've got a couple grown um, Siamese algae, algae eaters and then the bottom tank has my adult colony of long fin paleatus or salt and pepper quarries and I'm hoping this video is coming out okay because it looks like my battery's about to die so if not I will be redoing this so you will be seen um, but there's I don't know 12 or 13 and then there's some anisistris in there and I've got a few uh, Venezuelan quarries in there as well so anyways that's what I've got in the fish room upstairs I do have a few other tanks um, that I'll be consolidating so look forward to doing this again